Are you ready for another episode of Mike Gazzola's Real Estate Investing That Works? Making money in real estate has never been easier. To get started now, go to teachmemike.com. Welcome. You are listening to Instant Equity, Advanced Real Estate Investing That Works with Mike Gazzola. I'm Kerry Lutz. This is episode 29. Mike, it said instant equity is a quick cure for bad credit. Care to talk about that? Yeah. Okay. So as a lot of people out there have felt the housing crisis and a lot of people were foreclosed upon, over 9 million people were foreclosed upon during this whole housing crisis. And slightly more than 2 million have re-entered home ownership, owning a property. So what that leaves is there's a lot of people out there that have bad credit. And you know what? If you have bad credit or you have little credit, the great thing about what I teach people to do is it doesn't matter what your credit is. It doesn't matter if it's excellent. It doesn't matter if it's horrible. It doesn't matter if you just have average credit. The amazing thing that today, now, with what I'm showing students from all over the world how to do, you can acquire a property regardless of your credit. And it doesn't matter what you're starting with. You know, a lot of people haven't rebuilt their cash reserves. A lot of people, maybe you're just starting with $1,500, $2,000. I have students who started with 500 because the beauty is there's properties and lots especially. You know, there's a lot to be said for owning lots. There's lots right now in South Florida that previously sold for fifty, sixty thousand dollars, $60,000. And you're able to buy them now for $2,000, $1,500. I mean, there's lots I've bought for $1,550 and sold for three, dollars $4,000. And it's not that there's a shortage of them. It's just that there's plenty out there because when the housing crisis came and the market started to crash, people that bought lots for $40,000, $50,000, they weren't going to pay that note on it anymore because it was just an investment property. They weren't tied to it. So a lot of people who ended up getting bad credit through foreclosure or through not being able to keep their head above water when the economy was really bad, we're on an upswing now. But those of you, and there's a lot of them out there, there's millions that haven't been able to get back into ownership. And that's one of my goals. That's one of the reasons why I love teaching people how to do this, because it doesn't matter what you're starting with. I show people, and, and I've done hundreds of transactions. I've bought and sold, you know, over the last 12 years, I personally have generated millions of dollars using my own cash, starting on a smaller level and working my way up to the bigger deals. And that's what I like to show people how to do. It doesn't matter if you don't have a lot of experience. It doesn't matter if you don't have a lot of cash. The key is to take action because this is the best housing market any of us will ever see in our entire lives, my grandkids' lives. This is the best opportunity because prices were just slashed and people are just now starting to get back into to property ownership. And the great thing is you don't have to rely on your credit or you don't have to rely on borrowing money to do this. You could start off small, flip a couple properties, or buy something very inexpensively, very cheap, rent it out, generate positive cash flow, build your equity, and take those funds and move on to the next deal. Everybody has to start somewhere. So if you're starting with a little bit of cash, I'll show you where to start. If you're starting with a lot of cash, I'll show you also where to start. And it doesn't matter if you have millions of dollars. No matter how many properties I fix, I stick to my same formula because the formula works. And Mike, your whole philosophy of your investing in real estate, you've never borrowed any money, have you? No. I mean, when I'm looking at an investment property, when I'm looking at buying something through the auction, I've never had any interest in these hard money loans, these no money down loans, you know, these crazy schemes, because the way that I've personally found to benefit the most is to cut your expenses, cut out these middlemen. You know, you could buy a property, you can get a hard money between the guy who's lending you the money, between all these third parties, title companies, agents, buy agents, sell agent, attorneys, title companies. I've found that, you know, they end up taking the lion's share of your profit. So if my choice were to borrow a bunch of money, hire all these third parties, or just take the money that I actually do have, and it doesn't matter how small that amount of money is, take that amount of money and cut out all these third parties. That's why I developed my training series. 
because I've done this hundreds of times. I spent over a decade going through the trial and error so I can stand here today. And, you know, and a lot of people say, Mike, you know, why are you teaching people how to do this? Well, the real reason why I love showing people how to do this You know, they say, if there's so many deals, if you're doing so good, why not just do this for yourself? Well, the real thing is when money truly isn't your desire, I mean, of course we all want to make money. Of course we love making money. But when you're not dependent on that one transaction to make or break your lifestyle or to make and break your ability to provide for your family, then at some point, the only thing left to do is pass it forward. And I get a lot of joy when I see my students that are just starting out with no real estate knowledge that I can actually change their lives. And when money really isn't a concern, that is the only left thing left to do is to pass it forward. Hey. Great point. And uh, if you want to hear more of these episodes, just go over to iTunes, to the iTunes store, type in Mike Gazzola, G-A-Z-Z-O-L-A, or Real Estate Investing That Works or Instant Equity. You'll be able to subscribe right on the spot. Check out Mike's website, teachmemike.com. And in fact, Mike, we got a letter from a person I know, a listener, long-term listener, Richard, who said, if this is so great, why isn't Mike just doing it? And in fact, you are doing it all the time. Mike, right? That's right. You know, it's it, it's not like because I'm showing people how to do it, I can no longer do it. I think I've bought, what, maybe 14 properties in the last six, seven months. And, you know, my strategy may have changed as far as what my long-term goals are. Because when I first started out, probably the first hundred properties I flipped, I wasn't really in a position where I could just sit back and collect rental income. My goals were to take a small amount of money, turn it into a large amount of money. Now I have a little bit different goals. I like to buy properties. We're in an upswing on the housing market. There's nobody that can argue with that. Property values are going up. I love to buy a property, maybe rent it out, maybe hold it, maybe flip it, but I'm not tied to any one strategy. Now I'm doing all the strategies and techniques that I transfer to everybody who's listening right now. And you don't just have to listen to these shows. If you're somebody who learns through video, I have a full training video series. If you just want to get my my free training videos and learn about how you can get started, how do you open your own bidder account? I don't just teach auctions, but I love the auction process because it's quick. You know, to me, if I can invest less time, I'm willing to take a smaller profit. If I'm going to invest more time, I want a larger profit. You know, I've done the short sales. I've bought retail. To me, it's all about the path of least resistance, which right now that path is these real estate auctions. But it doesn't mean I just had an investor the other day that came to me. He just wanted out of a property. It was a tremendous deal. He had collected great rental income. So he paid back half of what he paid for the property just in rental income. And he said, Mike, I'm shifting to another gear. If you want to buy this property, so I'll buy from other investors. I'll buy from the local housing market. I'll do short sales. But just remember it this way. Time is money. Through an auction, I can go online. I can place a bid. 11 days later, I'll have that ownership in the mail. I can either flip it. I can rent it out. But I don't need to sign a bunch of documents. I don't need to fax this or that back and forth, applications, bank loans, all these sorts of things. I simply place my bid. I take ownership. And I move on to the next deal. Yeah, that's that's the beauty of it. And and it's not like uh, you're selling stock market tips or how to win at the track or how to how to make your life's fortune in craps. I mean, this is real estate where there's millions of properties and every day in Florida, South Florida alone, thousands of properties each week being sold at foreclosure, you're not going to be able to buy all of them no matter how much money you have. So the idea that somehow you're going to be able to monopolize the system and be able to get all the good properties is really kind of silly. That's what the whole key to this is, right? If you took all the the hundred richest men in the world and you took all of their money, they couldn't buy everything that's out there. So you'd have to have a pretty big ego to think that by showing somebody how to do this, that you're hurting yourself in any way because there's more than enough to go around. So that's actually a common question. You know, the email that that you received, that's actually a common question. You know, why wouldn't Mike just do this for himself? Well, he does. He can. I do. 
I love buying properties. It's what keeps me going. But you know what I love equally, at least equally, is watching somebody with no experience who's just starting out, who's able to take my trial and error, exactly what I've done for the last 12 years. I can now stand here and tell you that I've perfected this process, meaning I learn something every day. We all do. But I have perfected a process that to me is proven. And it's proven because I've done it hundreds of times. If you do something hundreds of times, you are an expert in that field. And it doesn't matter what that field is. If your field is cleaning, you know, a handgun, right? If you do it hundreds of times, you are now an expert on cleaning a handgun. I mean, that's just the way it is. If you've bought and sold hundreds of properties using techniques that just aren't widely known, I didn't create the auction process, or I'm not the first guy out there to be successful at buying auctions, but what I am successful at is transferring this process to people that have never done it before and showing them step-by-step how they can get started and cut out the 12-year learning curve, cut out the need to do it hundreds of times, and show you what works and omit everything that doesn't work. And and Lord knows there's a lot of uh, pitfalls here. We've talked about them before. Things like title searches, things like misbids, things like uh, like competitive bids where they keep jerking you up, jerking you up until they get you out of your proxy bid and then they uh, they knock you out of the bidding. You know what? You're exactly right. You know, in a one of the, you know, one of my students now who's one of your radio show listeners and I met him through listening to your radio show. Then he met me. Then he embraced me. And I just did a consultation with the guy and he had a funny way of putting it. He said, Mike, you know, I've done a lot of what you're saying through your training, but I've also attended a lot of auctions and live auctions. And he calls them the, the wolf pack, right? They, they <laughs> come in and uh, he, that was a good phrase. I thought, you know what, that's a good way to put it because what they use is intimidation and these tactics to, to strong arm you, meaning They'll play a lot of games. You know, I've been to live auctions. They don't know who I am. You know, I do this all over the country. So I'll show up in an area where I've never been. And you'll see all kinds of games being played, meaning, you know, one guy will bid it up. One guy will become the backup bidder. Then you walk away, the one guy cancels, and it reverts back to the lower bid. I mean, there's so many games that get played that the online auction... And this is what me and the gentleman were talking about. He was from Northern Florida, really smart guy. He's been implementing. He loved this process. He embraced my training and I'll continue to see his progress and see him through this whole thing. And those of you that have already owned my system and they've already have trained with me, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Because when I do a training session with one individual, I share it with everybody who is an owner of my system, everybody who's been through my training, because that's advanced video training. And I support you for the next six months. So if you want to just learn about my free video training series and learn exactly how to get started, exactly what I'm teaching, I love it when people who are just starting out, they embrace the training, doesn't cost them anything. They enter their name and their email and they get a series of free training videos. And if they like what they see and they're serious about investing in real estate, a lot of people invest. And that's what I love seeing is not that people invest in my training series, but seeing people that are as excited about getting started in real estate as I am. And now that you mention it, your email address uh, to send questions to and best website to go to? Well, I love getting questions. You know, a lot of these uh, podcasts and a lot of my radio shows are based on the questions that I receive because I love hearing the questions because, you know, when you've done it hundreds of times, sometimes you love to hear what somebody who's just learning your process, what their questions are. Because when I help one person, I'm helping thousands of people because a lot of the questions you have are going to be similar to the questions that another individual has. So feel free to send me questions. I love it. When I get a lot of questions about a certain topic, I do these podcasts, radio shows, videos based on those questions. So my email address is mike at teachmemike.com. Now, a lot of you, you want to learn about what is his free video training series? How could I learn how to get started. You know, what are actionable things that I can do today? This isn't the old way of real estate investing. This isn't that same old, oh, find somebody who will lend you the money, find a no money down deal. You know, it's not this this old stuff. Oh, apply, you know, with 20 different realtors to shotgun out offers. Sure, all of those things work at some degree, but I show you what's actually worked for me, real examples, how I did it, 
how to what I want to do, what are my goals. We all have a different why. What's your why? Why do you want to do this? If you want to start with the free training series, just go to teachmemike.com. It's all right there for you. You can get started today. To get started now, go to teachmemike.com.